Yo, what up? It's your boy, Owen J.J. Stone, a.k.a. O-Doctor, and this is a specialty edition of IQMZ Tech, and uh, I got somebody who who came and showed up for me. You know, they were double and triple booked. You know I mean? They busy, but I, I wanted to talk about this Nikon and Red deal, and I, as, a, as, a, as Canon guys, I wanted to commiserate together, so I got my boy Ann Pruitt to come back. You know, he was just on the show a couple weeks ago. I know, I know, you know, he's busy. How Look you here. doing, brother? You all right? I, shit, I better be busy. Freelance life. If you ain't busy, something wrong. You better fix it. <laughs> well, welcome to my world. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been pre-retired for the last 20 years. People be, like, people be like, what's pre-retired? I'm like, I run out of money. I go back to work. <laughs> so, they you don't know, know how we roll, baby. You know, they don't know how we welcome, roll. Welcome, welcome to the life. See, the, the difference between you and me is you got a full family set. You got a woman at home. You you best to be out there working. I, you know, I'm single like a Pringle, so I don't feel like doing nothing. I'm just looking at the walls like, you going to pay rent or am I going to pay? Like, <laughs> so, yeah, you got you to gotta stay a little bit more busy than me out here in these streets. But uh, <laughs> so it's, it's been a couple of days to think about, you know, uh, I'm a, I'm a Canon shooter. You're a, a Canon guy, but you're also yeah, a, black also a black magic guy. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And we both personally have dealt with and played with other cameras. I, have you ever used a red cam camera before, red camera system? I have used one once. Um just for the hell of it to try it out and it it is it is an experience i'll say that that's one of those cameras where you need to know you're in your way around a camera before you pick it up um you know they, they, they typically need to be rigged out it's not something that you can pick up and see a big menu screen and things like that um you need to know what you're doing and so they're priced the way they should be priced because they don't want just any old person picking those things up and trying to shoot with them and while we're early in the process of this show i'm going to let you know this is an fyi podcast which means fuck you in advance i'm going to be cussing a little bit because this this subject actually hurts me <laughs> yeah. and what he just said eloquently is actually correct i've used canon a couple of times i've shot companion work with people who shoot uh red and obviously they do a much better job than me i i tried to shoot red twice mm -hmm. once on my own and once with an assistant the assistant really was just there to have a computer that didn't blow the fuck up when I tried <laughs> render the video okay so yeah that's a whole other is, part of the a, story it yeah. is a whole nother world of of of, of cameras and yeah. uh you know just, just just real quick too just early on red is fucked if you're a red owner and you think you love red they're screwed it, it doesn't matter how you feel about the situation they're screwed but just to give some background information real quick Mm -hmm. Nikon Z8, Z9 came out. They finally got into some video with their cameras because they've been keeping up with the camera part of it, but their mirrorless world was a joke and everybody laughed at them. People still laugh at them because it's a Nikon. And so with the Z9, they put out their video codec uh, and raw. I'm not going to say it a couple times fast because we're both mm -hmm. black. I don't feel comfortable saying mm -hmm. and raw too many times. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. like it. But they made their own system very similar to Red's compression system. And anytime anyone uses anything like the Apple Pro Res or, or, or the compression that Red uses, Red sues you. Yep. You stop and you pay them a license. Yep. Now, people are out here on the internet talking about Nikon won, and that's what no, you 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 lose to red. Every time red wins, a patent gets stronger and stronger and stronger. So I don't yeah. care what Nikon did, and and red stopped suing them because they got countersued, not because they agreed to some deal. The deal was you pay. That's, that's the patent. Right. So that's, right. that's why Nikon bought them because they're not in this world. Again, we're Canon shooters. You're a black magic also shooter. Um, mm -hmm. I've shot with Sony before Canon and Sony, other than the real cinema cameras play in both worlds. Nikon yep. was in the kiddie pool, finally getting into mirrorless. They have no cinema line. So they lost that deal going up against red. And there are $4 billion, 100-year-old company versus an American-made, you no know, 10, 15-year-old company. And yep. they bought them and they acquired them. And now they have a cinema line. And that's great. Yeah. Right, Ant? That, it that's, makes that's, perfect sense for, for Nikon because I, I don't think you're going to see much of a difference on the red side of things. It'll just be similar to how you see um, Instagram and, and Meta. You open up Instagram, it says it's a Meta property. But that's it. Nothing else changed for you as the user. And I don't think there's going to be any difference when it comes to red and their their arm of the of the business. Um, give me one second. 
I forget where we were because I paused it, but we were talking about how awful and terrible this situation is, and the fact that you say Nikon, you say how do you say it? Yeah, Nikon. I say Nikon. So we're both covered for the people that hate either way. The people say it. Mm-hmm. Um, I only say it that way because when I went to CES Asia a couple of years ago, I was at their booth as a can. You know, I'm, I, yeah, I'm a Canon guy, but hell, I'm, I'm, you know, I still like gear. Yeah. And um, you know, and I'm a pundit at this stuff. So I'm gonna look at everything. So I was at their booth and hey, their representative set me straight, told me straight up, it's Nikon. Yeah. And and I know that it's Nikon. Yeah. I'm never gonna <laughs> say Nikon in my life. <laughs> um, so <laughs> just just to recap, we were talking about um what we shoot with and and them not having a cinema line and it makes sense, and especially when you can't go against that patent and why pay a licensing deal or a fee or anything like that like other people do i mean they apple lost to red Mm -hmm. going up against them and red is um red is your elon musk tesla car maker they are a disruptor in the camera world they make cameras that no one else does they were the first ones to introduce 4k um their compression rate is is world class they do 180 global shutter 125 frames like 20 yeah. like 21 stops like er- everything that you think that no one else can do they just do it yeah. they're they're the pioneers of things creating in a camera and you can do that when you're a small company and you're nimble the reason that sony doesn't do it and canon doesn't do it when we beg them to do things is because they'll cannibalize other camera lines in right. their market exactly and we understand that you know that's why people love black magic so much Mm-hmm. Um, that and black I still ad- struggle with Canon with what they're doing. Far as you know, you have that C seventy out there. Yes. But yeah, you still have those other the C three hundred, C five hundred, and like, why would I even bother with those if I have the C seventy out there? It's just as capable, and it's using RF glass, which is way sharper. So the RF glass is the thing, and then that's why <laughs> they don't make with full frame. Yeah. And that's why when they give you the R5C and it's full frame, they kill you with the battery. They kill you with the non-internal NDs. Like it's always nickel and diamond with the cinema market and cinema world when it comes to the standard. Now, I'm not going to go into the Alexas and other echelon of of cameras that are strictly cinema. But Red being in that low budget American made company being innovative disruptive and doing the things that they've done in the market and making a name for themselves not for nothing having a skull as their logo it just makes you feel badass it makes you feel like a rebel i said that the only time i I shot one time and it almost melted my computer so the next time i shot i had to partner up with the guy who shoots exclusively red and i'm looking at his i thought i was mining bitcoin in his house like we were in the matrix at least now you can apple's got some computers out now that can handle it much better but yeah um, so do you, how do you, how do you feel about this? Like, is, is this going to make you like gr- want to go get a Nikon, uh, cinema line camera? That would be no, sir. <laughs> Nothing's going to change on my, on my side. But what I do appreciate that about this is healthy competition, uh, as a consumer. Now I I'm assuming this is all, this deal is going to be approved and not go through some antitrust issues or what have you. So to just to bolster that, mm-hmm. you're not going to have that issue because Red is a privately owned company. They don't have an IPO. Um, their market cap is 129, $120 million versus mm-hmm. a $4 billion company that only exclusively does cinema. They also don't do cameras. So you don't have to worry about all that oh, governmental, you're not allowed to do this crap. Good. It is a done deal. Okay. They put out their press uh, kit. Oh, Nikon put out a press kit statement, not mm-hmm. Red. So mm-hmm. it's a done deal. You don't have to worry about the antitrust and all the other hoopla that usually goes on with JetBlue yeah. just backed out on Spirit, which, you know, I'm saying, Ooh, girl, why would you want to get that trash in? Like, why are you dating him? That's the first thing I thought to myself. You you bringing him home for Thanksgiving? No, mm-hmm. Spirit? No, sir. But anyway, we don't have to worry about that going down and backing out of the deal or anything like that. So it's, it's a done deal as far as that's concerned yeah. for us. But I, I'm not changing anything on, on my front, but I just like the idea that there's going to be more competition. You know, just recently, um, somewhat off the subject, Sony has the new A9 Mark III announced and launched. And them putting that 
full frame global shutter out into the mm. wild, I think that's huge. It's huge because <laughs> now Canon's got to get up off their ass. Yes. <laughs> and get it done for people at that same price point. So, and hey, I, I applaud it, Sony, for, for doing that. Thank you, Sony. And Thank I and I did just say that, and I did just say that Red has their global shutter with the twenty one f stop and the uh, yeah it, it's like triple what Sony has out like Sony yeah. finally came out and it's so crazy because again small company of like under three hundred people with out a mega corp in front of them do whatever they want like I want yeah. I want to make yeah. something cool I'm not gonna eat any other line other than my own like I've got the XXL yeah. like they they've got their own little product so. They don't care if they eat. Their thing is, hey, we made this model last year. Oh, we made five models. We'll make five more models this we'll year. Five and it's more like, now. Yeah. Do you, yeah. Do you have the red 2021? Do you have the Komodo 2022? Like, they're just, you know, because their process is, if I'm manufacturing these cameras, I might as well reiterate them every year because new people are going to be buying the camera. Yeah. And they're only making improvements. You can do that. When you're a small company, again, when I say as a disruptor and mm -hmm. how things go down and it's like, again, the people are, are complaining or, or trying to say, well, Nikon lost. the, And that's why it, all that doesn't even matter anymore. No, nah, not at all. That That's all done. But what does matter is Nikon is not a joke anymore. Right. Well, I haven't considered them a joke since the Z9. Um you know, playing with Nikon cameras, autofocus was always shit tastic. And mm -hmm. if you're a photographer, you need autofocus. <laughs> it's, it's like super critical. You need autofocus, especially if you're a sports photographer. And Nikon, they battled with it for a decade, not just a couple of years, for a decade. You know, but the Z9 come out, and it's it's like they got the magic right, and you got to give them their credit. That still didn't fix the video side as far as why, autofocus. That's why, that's why I had you on here. Because you see, you just out here just trying to be positive. About Even with this, uh, shout out to my boy, Stuart Track. He, he's he been a Nikon uh, guy, Nikon guy. I know forever. Stuart. Yeah, you know, yeah. shout out to Stu. He, he, he's Captain Nikon. Every time they come out a new camera, he tries to tell. I'm like, dude, that, that's Mickey Mouse stuff that I had eight years ago. When the Z9 came out, you know I mean, he dropped his five grand and it was the best. And it, it, he's greeting off stats to me and it's better than the camera. I'm like, that's a cool story. You got one camera that kind of does everything that we've been doing yeah. for the last five years. They finally made you, it you right. You finally got one <laughs> and it cost six grand. Okay. Right. Okay. I can yeah. get a 650. I can get the R50 right now and it's doing what the Z9 is doing. <laughs> minus the raw internal. So don't give me. I, he, he was out there pumping up the horse. It's like you just Not did. our A cam, it our C cam, our D cam. Exactly. <laughs> hasn't been a joke since the Z9. Well, that's a whole long ass time of jokery, okay? The last time I had a Nikon camera had film in it, it was 1999 and I traded it for the tattoo that's on my leg. One of the first tattoos I got in my life. I traded that thing. Had had the extra zoom lens on that. Nikon was great back when yeah. the film was in, yeah. and I wanted some blurry stuff. As soon as it went <laughs> digital, they died, and they're yeah. a joke, and, and and it's just embarrassing. I'm gonna play the potato song for Sean. That's <laughs> another reason why they did it because I mean, people are just out here ripping on them left to right. So they got the Z9. You're right. They they, they, they got focus. They, they got, got right. raw. They, they got you know right. they did all the things. They they did. They, they, Lipstick on a pig, boy. They put a dress on it. <laughs> got got it, uh, 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 slim down. You know what I'm saying? Got got it on a night. I got on a treadmill. Got some makeup and a sexy dress they, they, and, and they, a boob job. They got it I right, mean, but then they also, uh, I think they did a better job of earning the trust of not only their fan base but just the photography uh, community in general because. What they did with the Z9 is one thing from a technological standpoint, but they also committed to doing better with software and firmware updates. And when they when they when something was shit tastic, they jumped right on it and got it fixed. Canon's not really that quick when it comes to stuff like that. Sony hasn't been that quick when it comes to stuff like that. <laughs> can be doing software updates just don't nobody check them because usually you don't have to wait till like the second update from the first update comes out <laughs> the first update might break your bitch so <laughs> see QA. Yeah, look, 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 i'm just saying okay yeah. so so Ken, nikon nikon got here and they're here I, that's cool yeah. Yeah. but guess what 
Uh, you're you're old. Let me ask you a question. I'm oldish. Get that shit right now. Oh, you I'm old? Oldish. Why are you grandpa <laughs> old? Um, <laughs> not gonna with no grandpa yet. We ain't neither nope. one of us grandpas Hell yet. No, <laughs> keep it straight. Um, do you remember a company, a camera company? You ever you ever had a Minolta? Um, I didn't have one. One of my family members did years ago when I was a kid. Oh, so you knew somebody with money. Somebody had some money. Yeah, one of my family members, she she was um, self-employed and she was doing all right. Yeah. my One of my dad's first cameras was a Minolta. And uh, I got beat one time because I had watched a James Bond movie. And uh, in James Bond movies, they had the little camera that was like this big and they would yeah yeah and my, and my dad had the minota that looked like a ice cream bar it was as long and <laughs> oh yeah the 110 millimeter yeah yeah, yeah. and yeah. so you know i thought i was james bond boy and i was, <laughs> I was <laughs> <laughs> and he went to go get that film developed burning up all his money oh, right there. Like, yeah i got i got <laughs> i got smacked in my head all the way home from the I, that's the day I found out I love photography. You know what I'm saying? I, I got beat for it and it was worth it. You know what I mean? Because uh, developing film back then wasn't cheap and <laughs> nope, nope. and I wasn't supposed to be touching this camera no way. So, um, oh, yeah, dude. Minolta. Minolta was the gym. Minolta had money. Yeah. Minolta used to make lenses for Leica. They made cameras for Leica. Everybody knows how Sassé Chante Leica is still to this day. Leica they were the first one with autofocus. They were the first one with aperture priority. They were the first one with shutter priority. They brought a lot of stuff to the world of photography. Yep. And then you know what happened? They got gobbled up. <laughs> they got bought by Sony 100%. And everybody don't know shit about Minolta yeah. no more. Got Minolta makes up. like uh, printers or something now or fax machines yeah. or whatever. Minolta hasn't made anything useful in decades. And if you don't think that's what's about to happen to Red, you're out of your mammy jammy mind. So you, you're telling me Nikon is going to sell their cinema line with the Nikon label and not the red label. That's what you're telling me. That's what that's what, what your crystal ball is saying. Woo! Rub this bugs bunny this thing, boy. <laughs> Bugs Bunny this thing. I'm ball for a reason. I'm I'm too bright, boy. I burnt the hair out because I'm seeing the future. Okay, Look. So let's let's say that happens. You know, uh, do you think the masses are gonna react to that? Um because they'll say, well, they did acquire red, so they must be ready to go. Is it gonna be like that or so the the right now why would you trust the nikon brand in cinema a year later from now so i i don't know if it's gonna i i didn't look into it because I, I just remember when it happened mm -hmm. um so i don't know how long it took for minolta to just die off you know what i mean yeah, yeah. um it's kind of like how pentax you still like somebody got a pentax i'm like what what part of the world are you from you know yeah. what i mean so I don't know how long it wasn't an overnight thing, and by overnight I mean a year. Yeah. But I just feel like in I give it five years, red's gone. Red red is dead. Okay. That's and it's fair. gonna be a Nikon, whatever it is. That's fair. Five years and, is and, fair. And the and the the sad part about that is is that when you're on a film set, there are so many films that are made with red cameras. Mm -hmm. Um, the social experiment was like the first one, and that director I know to this day still uses red. Um, the Matrix I watched, was, uh, um, was with the red, I believe. The Matrix. Yep. The the, the Joey Mimosa. I forget that Joey Mimosa. I'm butchering his name. Aquaman. Whatever. He's got a passion project to build rebuild of motorcycles. They all used he used red cameras for all that because they're small in their box. He could put them on the motorcycles, and if they yep. got destroyed, you could just replace them really quick. And they're lightweight. You know, you put them on a drone and all that kind of stuff. So yep. there's a lot of indie people, film people, Hollywood people that love red and mm -hmm. use red and rely on red and rely on that innovation. Now, once you get bought up by a bigger company that isn't an American company, that's the other thing too. This yeah. is an American company being taken over by a Japanese company. I, I believe Nikon's Tokyo based. Yep. They're Japanese. Okay. Jap a Japanese company. So the, the Americanized company is just going to get whittled away. I'm sure they're going to keep certain people there, but they're not going to let them run their own shop for the next five or 10 years and let them innovate, quote unquote. They're going to bring them in. They're going to find out their processes and they're going to do exactly what every other major corporation does. Hey, yeah, we don't need an 8K 
180 shut like global <laughs> 21 f stop like how many f stops do we need can we <laughs> let's, let's, let's just sell a million of these units yeah wait three years and then let's, put out the, the, the raptor 9000 let us you know satisfy what I mean? the shareholders for the next couple of years and yeah. and that's the difference so for people i you know i've read a lot of articles i've seen a lot of the videos and people are like they're not just gonna i'm like are you stupid or just trying to hold on to the the skull on your shirt like i saw a lot of guys <laughs> with with the red t-shirts and the skull and it's cool it's cool to have a, a red camera I, I, you, you get booked better you you and i know the deal it, it's one of those dumb things you show up with a cannon Cool, you're shooting in a cannon. Is that it? Now put the cannon in a wreck, put an R5 in a cage with a mic and a lens and a, oh wow, you're shooting with that. Cool. You show up with a, a, yeah. a C70 or R5 C or a C three hundred with a red button on it. All they know is that red button means That's all money. They know. Yeah. It, 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 you ain't gotta have no cage on it. They red yeah. button, oh he got yeah. money. Yeah. You show up with a red. I don't care if it's a kimono, a oh no, a show no. You shooting on a red, <laughs> and they, and they feel know. some sort of way. Yeah. So, um, I can't, I they can't believe or think that it's not gonna. I don't know what the name's gonna be, you know, because Nikon's also yellow. It goes against their color of branding. Yeah. Hundred years in the make, like the people that are going against that thought process. Again, they have to just be in love with red and the company, and again, it's American. The, the the guy who started it was the guy who founded Oakley or something like that. He he went off and then the new guy took over and everybody loves the CEO that's there now. But man, it's going to be changing. But again, it could still potentially be red and Nikon property in small print. They could still keep everything totally the same branding wise. They could. So the re you you and I also know this because we're in branding, we're in marketing. Mm hmm. So what's the the Sony line called? FX mm -hmm. whatever. Yep. Right? Yep. FX means cinema, right? Yep. So you could get away with Nikon Red whatever. Are you going to have Nikon Red Komodo X4 Nikon Red Dragon X, like No, you could still just say Red, but when it comes to legally putting it on a spec sheet Red, a Nikon company. Like I said, just like Instagram, nobody looks at Instagram and immediately thinks Facebook. They, they think Meta now. It's Meta. They don't even think that. They just and think Instagram. When you log in, it <laughs> but says it's, Meta. Yeah, when it's you but, scroll right. too long. It says Meta. When it goes <laughs> down, you think Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> I don't care what you just said. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Not Nikon. It, it better be Nikon Red Four. Nikon yeah. Red Five. That's the only way you're keeping red in there. All mm. the Komodo Dragon, uh, the the, the K K Kelsey, the D D Dungeons and Dragons, all that shit's gone. You can't have <laughs> that long of a name anymore. It's gonna be, you know, they're they're yeah. It just it's it just can't live. Oh uh, gosh, <laughs> can't live, and it's over. It's over. And I, I again, I, I was talking to my boy who only shoots red. He's like, I don't want a fucking Nikon. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I was like, bro, you I'm, have I'm really Nikon. curious to see where they're going with the sensor technology going forward. Um, you know, this will red screw it up or will red just allow them to continue to Red's not going to screw it up. Will Nikon screw will it up? Will Nikon screw it up, I mean. Or will will Nikon allow them to continue to iterate? Probably won't allow them to iterate at the rate that they are going. But will they just sort of get out of the way and say, just do what you do, and we'll keep cashing these checks? You know, will they do that? Who does that? Yeah, I don't know. What mega? It, it'd be different if it was. I, I just don't. I just don't believe. Yeah. That a company like them, and and I'm I'm really putting it because of the fact that they're an American company. If this was a small Asian company or Asian market company where the cultures were the same, the time zone was the same, the people had the same mm. backgrounds and and mm. emotions and understanding, nah, you sitting over here with Pistol Pete, Yosemite Sam Americans, they're like fuck the patriarchy. I'm making 32k float. <laughs> 
Dude. And this bitch next week, and they're like, <laughs> no pendo. And you're like, whoa, bro. Wow. Like, what's going on? Like, yeah, you got to bow when you walk in this room and take your shoes off. I got to take my shoes off. <laughs> I'm running a Komodo. I'm used to waddling around in oh, the dirt. You got me. We, I are, do we off. see some type of xenophobic problems coming forward? Is that what you're saying? Not even not xenophobic. <laughs> I'm talking about customophobic. I'm talking about naturephobic. I'm talking about pistol peaks. <laughs> The, the, uh, against against the corporate world, yeah. uh, R and D versus yeah. you and me. You yeah. and me could get a lot of stuff done. R and D is like, yeah, we got a test, we yeah. got a beta test, then we got to talk to the marketing team, then we yeah. got to talk to the uh, uh, the mom. My yeah. grandpa's gotta like it. That she don't like that color. Use the skulls acceptance. gotta go. Oh, skulls in Japan. We can't have skulls in Japan. As I look like, there's a whole yeah. lot of change in my mind coming. Uh. Whole lot of change. I'm glad this shit's in is gonna be an archive here on this recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look hey, forward look, to five years from now. Look, because it's just funny how so many people feel like it's not going to be that way. So I'm I'm gonna play this video. I don't know if you know who um uh, uh Sam Newton is. You ever heard of Sam Newton? Uh, name he, not he, he makes he, he makes great uh, short films, movies. Does a lot of work, obviously on his own. But in his spare time, he makes fun music videos and things about cameras. Yeah. I'll play this song. Oh, I know this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know something right now. Mark nine on the beat. Get new. Stay creamy. Listen, I want to take you back in time. There I was kicking back with a glass of wine. When this fly ass chick, she was passing by. And she stopped in the tracks and she asked if I, I was a cameraman. I laughed a little bit, said, yeah. Damn. And she was like, oh my God, man, I'm such a fan. I was like, cool. Baby, what's the plan? She said, baby, maybe we can hit the beach and take a couple pictures. That would be a dream of my creating something with you. I said, sorry, but I don't know where my camera's at. She said, we can use mine. I got one in my camera bag. Are you a Canon or a Fuji chick? You got a Leica or a Sony, girl. What do you be shooting with? She laughed. Said, baby, I got it. She reached in the bag, and that's when I saw it. <laughs> oh, no, no. She shoots on Nikon. <laughs> A classic. <laughs> so, <laughs> but what year was that? What year was that? So, that's a classic. So, um, this is from two years ago. Uh, ninety-seven. It's only ninety-seven thousand views. But I tell you what, I know Nikon saw this and was like, "Yo, we got to get the Z9 out here. We got to have yeah, Uncle Fred video." Fix it. Gotta fix it. Uh, because you know, I, I'm sure it's rocking millions of views on the Instagram and stuff like that. I sent this to the four Nikon people that I know, and they were <laughs> mad about it. Now, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play. I'm playing the, the next hook, and then we'll, it, we'll, we'll cut it off. Oh, no, potato. I immediately ran away when I quickly realized I had plans that day. I had to shoot an album cover at this place in LA. So I called up the guy, said I'm on my way. Met the photographer, said his name was Richard. I said, what's up, dick? You want to take my picture? He said, I'm here to make you into an icon. Then he went and turned around and switched the lights on. But I'm telling you, man, something felt wrong. I thought maybe this guy also shoots on a Nikon. No, 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 no way, bro. No way he shoots on a potato. My stomach felt sick. That light is great, though. I thought we were sitting on his tripod. It was a Nikon. <laughs> Oh my god. So <laughs> yeah, that that came out. And uh it deserves millions of views. It deserves to be racked up millions of views. I hope it catches a new wave. Uh, now that Nikon's made a move, but um, that's how I felt about Nikon's. Uh, yeah. I, I actually, and again, and that, rightfully so. It they hadn't done anything uh, up to that point to, to 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 garner any kind of praise. Like I said, the photography was getting there, but they still wasn't quite over the hump. And so again, the the Minolta thing is just something that makes me feel like I get when a when a yeah. large megacorp buys you and Minolta shared cultural references with Sony. Yeah. 
even though Sony is more of a conglomerate, they make TVs. Sony and, said, We're, you're done, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they slowly fade them out to where you just don't even know what's going on. Again, when, when, when Minolta was innovating and creating new things that no one else had had, Sony's like, oh, cool. You know how to do that? We're just going to buy you. And, you know, we're going to fix our autofocus using your autofocus. We're going to fix, you know, we're going to add in aperture. We're going to add in, you know, the, the shutter priority, like all the things that, again, Sony innovates. Yeah. But they had, when they don't, they, they acquire. Yeah. So that's Nikon the, is not innovating. Or something. Yeah. And so I just feel like the cool factor right now just took a huge hit on red. I, and I feel like people that shoot red are going to be buying backups. Hmm. And buying the newest release right now. Yeah. To get a hold of it. So they it haven't have like been sullied yet. Yes. <laughs> so they can get that 8K. So they're kind of future proof, right? Yeah. If you go get the 8K model right now, you're you're golden for a while. Yeah, you're good for at least six, seven years. At least. At least. Because again, that not only not only is red ahead of his time, it's usually two or three X ahead of his time. Yeah. Via Sony and Canon. And uh, unless you're spending five or 10 times the money, you still can't get close to what Red is offering you at the price point, which is yeah. also the craziest thing. Yeah. Now, yeah. next thing is going to happen is uh, Red doesn't make their own lenses. I think they tried to make Cine lenses like one time in like 2010. No. No, they no made go. like a small set and then they just gave up on that because, again, they don't make glass. It's not an easy thing to do. So, what's your next thing? Hey. You know, Nikon makes glass and they do make good glass on their Z mount. On the Z mount. So now reds are going to be Z mount. And if you want to use other glass, you're going to have to use an adapter. I think they'll still be on the PL mount side of thing because that's a cinema standard. Hopefully. You know, because red has EF mount and RF mount, but PL mount is, is like the broad cinema standard. Yeah, but my my point to that is is that are we losing out on the EF and the RF mount to be Z yeah mount? this is true and then this Z mount true. comes in and they make their own RF glass their own high end not yeah. cinema but competing with cinema mid level glass yeah because that's the other reason why Canon has smartly up until hopefully I think this year is the year that it ends they're going to start letting uh, Sigma make RF glass like they're supposed to. And but it sure they, would be nice. They crush, they're crushing and cornering that market yeah. because they know that RF mount is RF mount. And so they're like, look, we're the only ones who want to do it. So why wouldn't Nikon take that same route for at least a three-year, four-year window to give themselves a head start to get people to fall in love with their glass? Because even though uh, Canon RF glass is expensive, heavy, bulky a pain in the ass not really uh conductive to a lifestyle it's still nice <laughs> it's I, still I, sexy it's still sharp it is and i don't know again at the end of the day i still like the idea <clears throat> of competition stepping in and making it better from the consumer side you know because right now like you said with canon just locking down the RF side of things. They are charging a premium for their stuff too. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, they're not they even, they ain't even trying to back down. Cause they're like, well, we don't know what's out there. They're you killing know, it. <laughs> and, they're killing and maybe this is some, you know, very, very, very small chance of Nikon coming in here and making them pull their pricing down and, and making it still be high quality, but a little bit more affordable, you know? Maybe. Like I said, this is why I got you here. I don't know. Your optimism Maybe. is insane. I, I try. I'm thinking about corporate greed. I'm thinking I, about I, corporate I, stupidity. I'm thinking about the history of the but world. Corporate greed it. still. Corporate greed still breeds competition for the consumers. It yeah, still yeah. does. It, it, it still does. does. It does, and that's why Canon and Sony have nowhere close to having an 8K global shutter, 125 <laughs> of stops per second per, per millimeter, and no great compression. That's why Canon goes and gives you a uh, 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 C log two, but C log three, but C log one, but minus C log two and a half, but C Man. log four. But C log one, we know we have the best C log, but you can't have it here. Man, I'm now, not a fan of C log three. I am not a fan. 
and and that and that's why they make sure that you got to go to a certain level to get it. I had the uh, C seventy. I love the C seventy, and I, I I sold you my backup R five C just because I like full frame. Yeah, I like all my frame money. Yeah, but I'll be damned if I don't miss C log two. Yeah, C log two is where it's at. I know they try to market it as being easier for everybody to use C log three being easier for everybody to use, but I don't know, man. I'm not everybody. <laughs> I'm not everybody. I'm not an like asshole, but we yeah. not everybody. I pick up a camera. I know what to do with it, and when I get into the editing bay, I know what to do, and I know the knobs to push and pull and so forth. And you know, I like that flexibility. And C log two, it gave you all of that power and all of that headroom and flexibility to really get creative with it. You know, C log three is just so, a glorified filter. Since you said, you know, it's going to be logged, I'm going to put it up here. You know what I mean? We're going to, we, we're going to, I'm going to put an anniversary date on my phone. We're going to come back in five years and talk about it. But I, I think that this stifles our, our creativity. I think this stifles our innovation. It stifles competition because mm. I don't have a rogue animal out there stalking the earth, dropping bombs all over the country, yeah. making me have yeah. to defend myself. Yeah. I have a new platoon fall in line, march with the beat of one drum kind of guy. Now Nikon's gonna be like, well, we also got to thumb the line, and we have to protect our brand, and we yeah. can't cannibalize our own community. So yeah. we're gonna slow down the engines of uh, ingenuity. And come on, man, uh, you've got a two-year window of living in the world that was red. Yeah. Whatever they had on deck to innovate, which again, after they just released the 8K 21 stops per dinosaur, like man, which what are you yeah. what are you gonna do? Yeah. But at the same time, that's what they do. They make things to where you're like, holy shit. Makes you wonder, is there anybody else out there? You know, because, and it also makes you wonder, like, what are the details of this deal? You know, they, oh. they, they get they get bought up, but can is there some type of um, competition clause, non-disclosure uh, competition clause to where, you know, you got two years before you can step out there and start up a brand new company of your own again. You know what I mean? Similar so, to the whole Steve Jobs stuff. That's the that's the that's the only eloquent question. Yeah. What is the non-compete? When am I allowed to exit and when am I allowed to recompete into the market and start destroying things again? And can I do it if I'm a lower level whatever? Yeah. Cuz the CEO's out, but if I'm an engineer, can I just drop out real quick and go make exactly. my own thing and, exactly. and and start because the negotiations of the deal or again, uh, I keep bringing it up just because uh, uh, Minolta. Mm -hmm. This is a hundred percent deal. Yeah, there is no stock options. There's no IPO. It's just, hey, you got a dog. <laughs> I like that dog. What's mine is mine, and what's yours yes. is mine. Yes, I'm buying the dog. <laughs> I now feed the dog. I come with the leash, the bowl, the dog house. Hey, you want to visit the dog? Go check my Instagram. Yeah. Instagram will have new, yeah. new dog check Instagram. You go check out these pictures. You know, all that, that that's hundred percent, dog. That's the check deal. That's, Instagram, that's, you want to see the dog. That's, that's what that's what uh Nikon put out in their statement. Hundred percent deal. So I, you know, unless you got a non-compete that's it's gonna uh expire yeah. in a few years to bring out that competition again. I I I really feel like the competition is gonna be stifled. And again, mm. for me, not and for you too, we're not red shooters, but we also do know the power of that camera. Yeah. Um, the power of their codex. Uh, even if you don't um can make your own codex, you can still license it. You know, again, Apple went up against them and lost, and that's why they have pro res in the phones and all that kind of stuff. It's still a phone, but yep. still just a way to use it. Um, I'm I'm using the Ninja Plus so I can get pro res, pro -res off of that. Uh, through that. And you know, that's one of the reasons why I have a Ninja V. And why I have, you know, that's why I use, you know, ninjas or why other people use ninjas. Yeah. So you can get pro reds if you want to. Uh, DGI went up against them and lost because their yeah. cinema camera that they tried to make had pro res built in and it, it crippled them for a little bit that they had to come out and re release a new camera yeah. <laughs> within yeah. like a year and a half because they, everybody thinks they're going to get away with it. And again, it just made it stronger and stronger. So the only thing I'm thinking happiness about it, hey, maybe uh, Nikon says, hey, We'll lower the leasing so we can get more people using this and make it an industry standard kind of that thing. That would be good. That would be again, good. 
Yeah. Uh, I think as a megacorp, they're going to be looking at other ways to bring in money. More revenue. And, and, and if they did that, if it was a standard, it'd be just like anything else, you know, and especially recording internally. Um, you know, we, again, we, we, we are cannon shooters, your black magic shooter, black magic has a nice way of shooting because you can shoot right to a T five or, um, yep. something like that. So you can have a, a higher end drive to plug it into as to where I'm living a lifestyle of, again, having to have a monitor and use the Ninja V or the Ninja plus yep. to, uh, run and record externally, which is just adding another element to it, which prevents me from running gun. So yep. when I want to shoot on the R five C and shoot raw, their internal raw is heavy. It yep. is big time. And the, the bit rates are just outrageous, especially when you want to talk about 8K, which, again, dr- the the red 8K, red 4K is massive. But that massiveness also comes with unlimited flexibility. It mm-hmm. comes with the, you kind of can't fuck this up. That's right. It comes with the, Such I can recover almost anything. On it, man. Yeah, so... Uh, it's exciting times to what you're saying. Yeah. I just don't have the optimism you do. Uh, I don't have the belief that you do. And I think, my goodness, it's going to be a wild ride. But I, I feel like in 10, 15 years, nobody's only going to remember what, what a red camera was. I will say this from the Canon front, and this is just all speculation. This is, n- n- I'm not even going to call it an educated guess. Uh, at least this year and next year, it's going to be very quiet on the Canon side when it comes to video, because this year is the Olympic year. And traditionally in Olympic years, Canon is throwing out stills. They're worried about stills and they're worried yes. about glass. So right now they can give two shits about cinema. <laughs> they're just trying to yep. get the next, uh, they're trying to get the AP back mm-hmm. basically. Cause Sony has, it has the AP now for the most part but they're trying to get the AP back and get, get all of their Canon bodies out there and all of their Canon L glass out there to shoot the Olympics and shoot other primetime events beyond the R, sports. The R1, the R5 two. Yep. Um, you know, they got the R5, they got the R5 three. they got the R3 out, which is nice, but it doesn't have the megapixels that people are hungry for when they want to peep. Um, and Sony does. Sony is, Sony takes on that red mantra where they're like, yo, we're putting out four a year. And it is what it is. And, uh, you know, I, I think that looking at the market, too, um, I forget which movie it was. The um, the creator was shot on the FX60 or FX30. No, FX30. F- FX30. Yeah, that's their lower end of the and, cinema. And that was the lower end of the cinema. And what they were able to shoot and create with that and low light. Yeah. was so impressive it you know it shocked the youtube world and validated the youtube world where look this is a major market movie that is being shot on this and they're using it in such tight run and gun places because my goodness it, it's smaller than the r5 six r r six two and you yep. know it, 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 it i joked about the r50 earlier but it's dang them about that size it's about that size actually. about that yeah. size and for it to be cinema and to get away with what they're getting away with and the price point yeah Sony, good focus on it too. You, you yeah, can't really, yeah. you can't really knock it. <laughs> yeah, and I, so I will say this: you know, Sony has made me think about Sony and so much with some of the cameras that they're putting out. And then at the same time, I say to myself, I am an old dog, mm-hmm. and I don't want to learn the new tricks. The the two the three biggest things that I'll say about me not wanting to switch to Sony. One is the classic bullshit that doesn't matter, but it matters to my heart. Color science. Sony's too green for me, and I can adjust it, and I can fix it. I don't give a shit. Uh, I'm black, and I I will say this as simply as possible. I shoot people of color with Canon. I feel like I'm shooting people of color with Canon. I shoot with Sony or anything else. Maybe Leica also does really well with dark skin tones. Yep. But anything else, I feel like my shade is off on colored people, and it just doesn't feel right and again i can adjust it i can light room it. i can, can do all the things i want to do better but did. canon just does better with people of color to me the way it feels right out the box right out the box mm-hmm. but then the next thing is sony's menus oh uh, they, they did get better because <laughs> boy they were shit tastic forever <laughs> forever <laughs> so they used to be i gotta go nine things deep to get to change the date 
Yeah. Now you only got to go four things. Four, yeah, I still yeah. got to go four. It's, as it's, opposed it's better to, than what it used to be. But it, it's, it, it still got a ways. It is. It is a Microsoft phone UI versus an iPhone <laughs> UI. I'm not even going to give it a Samsung UI. It is a Microsoft phone UI versus an bad. iPhone UI. Yeah. And then the last thing is, it's Sony. And my heart's been conditioned to be a certain way. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Black Magic coming out with some stuff that got me thinking about Black Magic. That little Black Magic cube. I'm thinking about getting them up and doing a little webcam studio with the cubes. Yeah. But, uh, that's, but again, the Black Magic is one of those companies. Yeah. That, you know, similar to Red. They're one of those companies that's just going to try some shit, you know. Yeah. And they do it at a perfect price point to get you into the ecosystem so you end up going to get that ursa mini 12k you know yeah exactly so yeah just wanted to hop on chop it up with you uh we're, we're gonna see what happens nikon earned a lot of credibility while at the same time tanking red's credibility it's a weird you know rising tide lifts all ships like you know people you were laughing at nikon and it's like oh shit, you got again i i, I use them a, a lot like yeah you know, you were you were a nerd that couldn't really get a date. You were going to prom solo with your buddy. You know what I mean? Next thing you know, you at you at the at the at the college formal, and you done came in with a bad bitch. You're like, yo, is, is that a prostitute? Did he pay for how did he get her? That she looked good. I can't believe she came out with it. Like that's what it is like buying red. And then once you see him on a couple of dates, ten years later, they done got four kids together. You're like, ugh, ugh, they family looking, they family looking rough. That's a, I'm sorry, Nikon people, Nikon people. I, I just, I'm sorry, red people too. It's just the way I, I feel. I feel like y'all going to be the new Minolta's. Y'all going to be, you know, like I got beat for nothing. My dad beat me for no reason for a company that was going to die. My dad smacked me in the back of the head four times. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, gosh. Somebody, you, you're saying Minolta. I, somebody just gifted me an old, I believe it's a Minolta film camera, like the just the other day. Somebody oh, really? here in town gifted me one. It's like here. Um, we know you shoot and we just want to get rid of it. We want to put it in somebody's hands that'll probably use it. And it's, it's downstairs somewhere. I literally got it like two, three days ago. And I think it's a Minolta. See, they, you're they, mentioning they, that. They, they looked at you and said, look at this old man. I bet he know what a Minolta is. You ain't going to keep saying this old man <laughs> shit now. <laughs> let, me see. let me see if he knows. Uh, before I let you go too. I'm gonna play this. I don't know if you've seen this, but this is uh, mm. when uh, Canon came out with the uh, R5 and they were, you know, the 12-bit RAW. Again, like the whole change in the market, you know. Yeah. Wow, you can shoot 12-bit RAW, and that uh, was kind of a joke because you could only shoot it for like five minutes. Like, it wasn't even five minutes. Yeah, five minutes. <laughs> so I, I literally, this song has only has 153,000 views. It's three years old. But I, I watch I watch this video at least like once a once every other month because it's just funny to me because it's accurate but it's just funny. Oh gosh! Yo, Chris, what's popping? Listen, I just picked up the EOS R5 and I was just wondering, um, since I'm listening to your song 12 Bit Raw on Spotify all the time, what do you think about this idea? Let's shoot a music video for it right now, today, in 12-bit raw 8K. Just look at the color on this thing. Just mm -hmm. beautiful. 12-bit uh, uh, uh. raw. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Young Cannon. <laughs> and I think they're German or something like that, so a lot of it's like um translated. <laughs> yeah. This shit's hilarious. He's a Sony shooter before the R5 came out. <laughs> Pineapple. It's overheating. It's overheating. <laughs> Zero minutes left. 
<laughs> Zero minutes left on recording. He's like, the video just started, dog. What you mean? There's zero minutes. <laughs> Oh gosh, and that's real. <laughs> I got it. I tried to shoot. I was upset. I was it like, "Oh man!" Five minutes. It wasn't even five minutes. <laughs> Thing got hot. Yeah, but we could not Sony name. We could just use the Sony. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh. I quit. I quit. Yes. Pick this nicht auf. Pick this nicht auf. Ein Terabyte auf meiner Karte. Kaufe gleich die ganze Farm für meine Daten. Zelte vor dem Laden. Immer so wieder Stone in nein, ich sende meinen Namen. Ich sende meinen Namen. Ja. $3,700 for mm. B-roll with coffee in it. That's breath. it. That's about all you can get. <laughs> Body's overheating, but I'm cool with that. <laughs> and, the, and that, I got to tell you, that R5C, that fan is clutch. I remember, I remember testing it, uh, however many years ago when I got to test it and I tested it in an April at a track meet on a Saturday that was like 80 something degrees outside in the sun. There's no shade. Yeah. yeah. And that thing, it, it, I didn't have no issues the whole day other yeah. than I needed more battery. Yeah. But that thing, it, it didn't overheating was not an issue, even in that hot sun. And it's clutch. And it's funny because it um it's it was at the point where yeah, I have the R5 too, and the R5 by the second year they had, had enough updates to where it didn't overheat. But there was a time when I was out shooting in the field and I was at a track meet in the sun and two hours in, just from taking photos. Yeah, yeah. Camera right over still processing, and and I was getting and I was getting a heat warning. Now I don't have that issue. Like I, you know, I've taken that out and in the sun, and you know, I used to like tuck it in my bag when I wasn't shooting because I was mm-hmm. worried about it. Trying to keep it now, out of the sun. Yeah, yeah. Now that's fixed. Um, also having the as dumb as it sounds, having the right card in helps yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, I was using cheaper cards. Um, you know, like the 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 card I sent you. You know that that at the time the cards are cheaper now, but at the time, I bought a five twelve card for seven hundred fifty dollars, yep. and uh, it helped the cooling tremendously on my R five. And I'm like, well, okay, sometimes you get what you pay for. That's right. The the memory w- was having an issue too, so I will only use Sony Tough cards or Angel Bird. Angel Bird, baby, Angel um, Bird. Yeah, Angel Bird. <laughs> uh, Angel Bird now is is better because the prices are better. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the time, I just was going with Sony because of the brand. And uh, again, I, I once I put that that card in, I had my issues drop by fifty percent. Yeah. Um, and then the updates helped it out with that a lot. But the R five C with the fan is, it's it's a beast. There is no there is no stopping it. You know, yeah. you can put a battery pack on there and run it, and it doesn't matter if you're sitting in the sun, you're sitting in the heat. It just works. And uh, yeah, it's impressive. It's freaking awesome. Love that thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, now we're in the. We're, we're gonna see what this what this Nikon red stuff looks like. So follow Ant Pruitt on the Twitters on the internet, uh his website, antpruitt.com. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. And uh I have all the links to all the stuff and hopefully you enjoyed our conversation and hopefully you're mad at me for, for bashing the Nikon and your dreams if you're if a red. They didn't shooter. enjoy it, FYI, ain't that what That's you right, said? FYI, <laughs> yep. Oh my god, oh, I knew what I was gonna take on her hurt somebody feeling. So if any, if anybody stumbles across it, it just is what it is. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for following. Subscribe, like, share, do something, make yourself useful. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. And so does Ant too. Right.